In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen My dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light reflection on the day's readings It's the 7th of November Monday of the 32nd week in ordinary time On 7th of November we remember blessed Francis Palav a Carmelite priest He was born on December 29 1811 in Aitona Lerida Blessed Francis entered the Carmelite order in 1832 and was ordained priest in 1836 Civil turmoil forced him to live in exile and outside his community On his return to Spain in 1851 he founded his school of virtue which was a model of catechetical teaching at Barcelona the school was suppressed and he was unjustly exiled in Ibiza from 1854 to 1860 where he lived at Elvet in solitude and experienced mystically the vicissitudes of the church while in the belriac islands he founded the congregation of carmelite brothers and carmelite sisters he preached popular missions and spread love for our lady wherever he went he died at tarragona on march 20 1872 and was beatified by Pope John Paul II on April 24, 1988. Blessed Francis Palau, pray for us. Now, let's pay attention to the Gospel reading of the day. A reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 17 verses 1 to 6 at that time jesus said to his disciples temptations to sin are sure to come but woe to the one through whom they come it would be better for him if a millstone were hung round his neck and he were cast into the sea then that he should cause one of these little ones to sin pay attention to yourselves if your brother sins rebuke him and if he repents forgive him and if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying i repent you must forgive him the apostles said to the lord increase our faith and the lord said if you had faith like a grain of mustard seed you could say to this mulberry tree be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ increase our faith heaven 
we all felt this cry rise in our hearts at one time or another much like the apostles we sense that having more faith will trigger a deeper outpouring of god's healing transformation and grace in our lives but we also sense that growing in faith is not just a matter of god giving us more but of our cooperating with him as well so let's look at a few scripture passages that can help us increase our own faith first faith listens st paul wrote faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of christ romans chapter 10 verse 17 how can we believe something we haven't heard by immersing ourselves in the word of god we allow the holy spirit to speak to our hearts these words of life could be very simple i love you let's spend more time together or i desire holiness but they can carry great power to strengthen our spirits next faith acts first we said faith listens now faith acts st james tells us faith of itself if it does not have works is dead faith without works is dead james chapter 2 verse 17 God isn't looking for faith that just accepts the message of the gospel and stops there. He wants faith that springs into action. A faith comes to life when we respond to God's word with obedience. Third, faith also reaches out. First we said faith listens second faith acts third faith reaches out the gospels describe jesus response to an ailing woman who sought him out through a crowd of people daughter your faith has saved you go in peace and be cured of your affliction mark chapter 5 verse 34 This woman had reached out to Jesus quite literally she was convinced that just touching his robe would heal her sickness and it did follow her example today and reach out to the lord by spending time in his presence that may mean creating more time for prayer or pushing past distractions that can crowd around Jesus as you do pray it may be a bit hard but it's worth it he is the source of peace and healing for our days faith is a gift from god so we ought to ask for more but there is also a human element to developing his gift we can accelerate its growth by listening to god's word acting on it and reaching out to jesus lord increase my faith today i need a deeper experience of your love and transformation amen brothers and sisters the psalm speaks of the virtues that should mark the life of one who is desirous of a relationship with the lord 
the more one is in touch with god the more one's life should reflect that relationship in the daily activities let's pray that some your response these are the people who seek your face o lord these are the people who seek your face o lord the lords is the earth and its fullness the world and those who dwell in it it is he who set it on the seas on the rivers he made it firm these are the people who seek your face o lord who shall climb the mountain of the lord who shall stand in his holy place the clean of hands and pure of heart whose soul is not set on vain things These are the people who seek your face O Lord Blessings from the Lord shall he receive and right reward from the God who saves him Such are the people who seek him who seek the face of the Lord of Jacob These are the people who seek your face O Lord Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen pray for god's blessing now may all mighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen brothers and sisters daily carmel light Bible diary for the year 2023 is getting ready and it will be ready by November 20th as soon as the diary gets ready we will post to those who have sponsored the pages and later it will be also available for sale you can send your orders now with your postal address and the number of copies that you need my whatsapp number is 9481263229 9481263229 and today we remember all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially brother stin george kamalite michael saldana from malad mumbai Mural Elisha Machado from Mira Road Mumbai Wish you all a happy birthday God bless you Have a great week ahead see you tomorrow bye bye